We have a potential energy in the form of alpha x square plus beta y square. We need to find if the field is central and if the shape of equip and we need to find the shape of the equipotential surfaces and the shape of surfaces for which the force is constant. So we know that forces are central if force can be written as a function of r into r cap. So this can be constant also or it can be any other function of r. But important thing is the direction should be either towards the center or away from the center. Now u is given and we know force can be written as minus dou u by dou x i cap minus dou u by dou y j cap. So we just perform that action on the given force and we see that minus dou u by dou x becomes minus 2x for this term minus 2 alpha x and this term becomes 0 because with respect to x this is a constant minus dou u by dou y j cap so for minus dou by dou y this term becomes 0 and this term will become 2 beta into y so this is the force which we have got and you can see that it is not of the form of 1 therefore force is not central if alpha and beta values were same then it would be a central force but they have given that alpha and beta their magnitudes are different which means this cannot be written in the form of something into r cap Hence, this is not a central force. Now, if for equipotential surfaces, u is constant. So, we'll just do that. We'll put this u as constant. Let's say it is k. And if we take the k this side, we get this equation, which is of the ellipse. So, for this kind of potential energy field, the, the equipotential surfaces are of a form of ellipse. And when force is constant, so we have already calculated the force here. So let's talk about the magnitude of force because that's what he have asked. The magnitude of the vector is constant. So magnitude of this will be simply, we can rearrange bit and like write like this, which also comes to be a shape of ellipse. 